Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you the slash block data command. The slash block data command consists of four arguments. An X coordinate, a Y coordinate, a Z coordinate, and a data tag, otherwise known as an NBT tag. I'll have a link in the description leading to my command block basics video where I discuss the X, Y, and Z coordinate system and a little bit about the data tag part of this command. I do highly recommend watching that video before moving on to any of my other videos. So first I'm going to start out with showing you a little bit about this command using a chest. So as you can see this is a regular chest, nothing in it, no name here. But when I press this button I can't use the chest and it also refers to it as a magic chest. So in this command you have your XYZ coordinate, your custom name of the container, which is for me, I put it as magic chest, and the lock, you have a key. So this is the name of whichever item you want to use to unlock this chest. And then we have the items and BT tag, which I put count one, slot one, and the ID of whichever item I wanted to use. So if I open this chest using the key, which I labeled key, you can see there's a stone axe in the slot one of the magic chest. You can even use this command for command blocks. So as I go into this command block, there's nothing there. When I press this button, this command is automatically entered into the command block, and it also works. So I get stone. So how this command works is with the block data, the coordinates, and here. I can set the command to whatever I want to as long it is, as it is a valid command for Minecraft. Now here's where it gets really interesting. If I place a spawner here and press the button, it'll change to a cow. Because in this command, you can put the, I, the entity ID to whichever mob you want. So if I wanted it to be, say, a slime, and click this button, it'll be a slime in there. If I place a sign here as blank, then click this button, it'll put hello. Because this NBT tag, text 1 on a sign, and then a string after it, will set the first line to whichever text I put in the string. So I can also add text 2, and then say, it's me. Then it'll add that to the sign. I can also put text 3 and then put java bean so now the sign will just keep on adding text up to four lines so text 4 so here's a little fun thing you can do with heads if you put a head here and then click this button you can see the head has turned I can set this to anything between 0 and 15. So if I put it to 15 and click the button, and that means it's gone all the way around almost to its starting position. So I can set this to 8 if I want to. It'll be facing backwards. So here's a little fun thing I made with my head with these command blocks, each of them increasing by the rotation by 1 so it makes it look like my head is turning around on the ground. Thank you everybody for watching my video. Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section if you think I left anything out. I will put a link in the description to a website with all the possible things you can do with all of these because this honestly is a very small amount and be sure to like and subscribe.